Selam. cases they have been releasing a lot of cute new designs and i love the solid colors as well pila cases are 100 compostable so you can throw them in your backyard compost or in your so before we continue on with the video i wanted to thank the sponsor which is birch living if you don't know what birch is it's a premium mattress in a box company that sells environmentally friendly and sustainable mattresses our non-toxic mattresses are made right here in the u.s and they are 100% crafted with organic and natural materials that are, of course, sustainably sourced. A mattress is a really important necessity and, of course, creating such a large product can have a really harsh environmental impact. So knowing that Birch Living prioritizes the environment before anything makes me feel a little bit more comfortable with the mattress that I have. I have the Birch Lux mattress, which is an upgrade to the classic birch mattress that they have. I have had my birch mattress, I think like, I think I've had my mattress about three to four months now, and I love it. I have three pets now, so we all fit on there super comfortably, and I love that my allergies have been reduced because I get really bad seasonal allergies. If you're interested in a birch mattress, you get a 100 night sleep trial and a 25 year warranty. And if you live in the US, the mattress will be delivered right to your door, which makes it super convenient. So if you're in the market for a new mattress and you're interested in birch living, you can go to my link down below and you'll get $400 off your purchase and two free pillows. updated you guys in a long time but um today is thursday november 10th so like i said it's been a while since i've given an update so i just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys but 
Um, this past Monday, Oliver was diagnosed with liver failure. Um, we don't know why, and I've been going crazy trying to find why. Um, luckily, liver failure is a little bit different in dogs. If you catch it early enough, it's you can pretty much reverse it and that's what it's looking like for Ollie at least right now today is the first day that I've seen him like fully back to normal which is great but Monday um, he had some pretty scary symptoms and so I took him into the vet and I expected him to have like a stomach bug because he's a puppy still or something like that but um, they ran blood work and they found that his liver enzymes were really elevated a lot of different things can cause it it can be genetic it can be um, consumption of toxic human foods so like avocado chocolate grapes stuff like that uh, it can be consumption of a toxic plant another reason that I have kind of been researching is sometimes dogs are some dogs are really sensitive to steroids um, and Ollie was on steroids for about two to three weeks because he had inflammation in his lungs from uh, seasonal allergies um, so that's my hypothesis that the steroids kind of like hurt were hurting his liver a little bit regardless um, he is luckily doing a lot better where we have him on a ton of a medication um, and he is you know when the vet told me he said that he really expects that him to fully recover because all his other organs and the rest of his blood work was perfect so luckily you know it looks like he's gonna be okay and he's act the whole time he's acted completely normal and completely fine it was just honestly it was very scary for me monday i basically did nothing i just cried the whole day um god these sirens jesus christ but yeah it's not been a productive week guys i'm sorry it was really scary going through that with ollie but yeah that is my update another update i am releasing a jewelry collaboration with keiston um i have some unboxing footage for you guys of the charms it's near the end of the day and i have this very special package this is first impressions like i haven't seen it in person at all so i'm very excited boxes so you guys may or may not remember that uh apple cheeks or tiffany <gasps> okay apple cheeks or tiffany has made a collection with keiston before and now i have made a collection with them and this is the first charm which is a peach excuse my dog please <gasps> Oh, I love this. This one's one of my favorites. I think it is my favorite, actually. This one is a little beetle, and it's super vintage-inspired. I love it. And then, of course, we had to do a cowboy boot. And it actually has, like, little designs on it, which is so cute. Oh, so pretty. And we made this, which was not originally brought up by me it was brought up by stephanie the keiston creative designer director um and she wanted to do a locket so we did this like vintage inspired locket um and it's like a little book which is so fun this one is the dagger oh my gosh i love it i'm obsessed yes those are all the charms so um i helped design those which is really exciting and also with the charms i made like corresponding artwork firstly this little peach one for the peach charm we have the boot which i think is one of my favorites for the boot charm we have this one for the beetle charm this one for the dagger and then this one for the locket so I'm so excited to be seeing this in person and just like, oh, it's so cute. I love it. I'm obsessed with all of them and I'm so happy that this has all finally come together and that you guys get to see them. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys and do an unboxing with you because again, this is my first time seeing them in real life. And those come out 
tomorrow my time so on november 11th 11 11 they will be coming out at midnight so by the time this video is up they are out and if you're interested of course you can check them out i'll have a link for you guys but it was really fun to collaborate with keiston um i saw apple cheeks or tiffany collaborate with them and she made some really cute charms and i actually have some she sent some to me but the process was really fun um i think the funnest part was creating charms that felt super authentic to me. I feel like my interests, the combination of interests is really specific and getting to be able to express that through these charms with Keiston was a really great project to take on. And um, with, char with the charms, I also made artwork for every single charm. So that's really exciting. And I also made a freebie sticker that you will get, I believe, with the first 50 orders. If you are in those first 50 orders, you get a free exclusive sticker that will not come out anywhere else. So yeah, I am very excited and I'm excited that you guys finally get to see it. It's a secret that I've been keeping for a long time. Next thing that has been going on is last weekend I had another sh uh, art market. I did the second Super Yaki, I think it was the second Super Yaki market, but it is also the last because Super Yaki is moving out of Houston. So I'm glad I got to be there for their last market. And I want to thank everybody that came out. Um, I really appreciate it. I feel like I saw some familiar faces. I'm really bad at facial recognition. So like I would see someone, unless they would tell me like, oh, it's good to see you again. I'd be like, oh yeah, okay. But I would see someone, I'd be like, they have come here before, but I don't want to be wrong. So I would just be like, okay, hi. Um, but I feel like I definitely saw a lot of familiar faces and it's always really nice to meet you guys and see you. Um, but yeah, I really appreciate everybody that came out. Again, I kind of, I'm kind of in recovery mode from the crazy Patreon week that I have every month. So lately I have just been focusing on doing whatever the fuck I want artistically, honestly. Like I want to paint another canvas. I want to go hard on my sketchbook. I want to get into the habit of drawing digitally more again, because I feel like since I got COVID this past August, I don't know, I feel like I've, I haven't been in an, I mean, yeah, I kind of feel like I've been in an art block since then. Um, I just can't really, haven't been able to get into my groove again with digital art, but yeah. Thank you for listening to me ramble. That was my update for you guys. Let's get back to the week. The November Patreon Awards, well, the, the prints came in yesterday and i love i love it so much i really wanted to do like an at the cafe theme and i'll show you guys the other rewards that i finished like somewhere on the screen possibly here um but i love it and i love the sticker sheet and i love the sticker like i think the sticker is my favorite though but it's just ollie sleeping under the table while i eat at a cafe so yeah i'm really excited about these is, do you already know <gasps> home for Thanksgiving? Do you already know what it is? You already know? <gasps> Look at this! Oh my! I love it! I love it! Okay, hold on. <gasps> it's a turkey! <gasps> oh my! Salem, you can't sit in there yet, Salem. Not yet, Salem. It's a turkey. Oh my goodness, Salem, you're blocking the view. Pumpkin and honey. Do you want to taste? Do you want to This one before. Watch me. Okay. 
Oh, that is the most delicious. Do you like it? Do you like it? Which way? Oh, the turkey. 